You know when children ask you those questions and you don't know what the fuck to say? It's really easy with me. I'm thick as fuck anyway. It's not my four-year-old just asking me questions, I like. I was in bed one night and I was kissing her goodnight and I went and she kissed me and she looked me in the eyes and she said, Daddy, we can't kiss at school. I was like, in my mind, I was like, too fucking right. <laughs> she said, why is that? Why can't we kiss at school? And I was like, good question. <laughs> well, kissing is special and it's for your nanny grannies and your, you know, granddad Pete and your mummy and your daddy. And I thought that was a good answer. And then she said, yeah, but why? I said, I've just I fucking told you. <laughs> And she said, yeah, but why, Daddy? And I said, well, listen, I'll have to level with you. It's something that I can tell you, but when you're a bit older. And she looked me in the eyes, and it seemed as though she was really sad. And she said, Daddy, I know why we can't kiss at school. And I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> my little baby's innocence is gone. She knows why we can't kiss at school. It was fucking awful. And I said, tell me, tell me, baby, why can't you kiss at school? And she leant in, and to my ears she whispered, Jones. <laughs> I was like, yes, Jones, that's why you can't kiss at school! <laughs> I just told that story in Austria about three nights ago, and the whole audience just went, What did he say? Is there something about the germs? <laughs> anyway, this is for all the Mars and the Dars. You're doing a fucking great job. I love my life! Tell your soul to me.